The second stream in security architecture is about managing your technology. What does good look like for this stream now? The first key element is the question whether you even know what you're using. You need to know everything you're using. On what systems is a particular application in scope dependent? If a specific system is not working, can we still operate? The loss of a specific software system or tool having an impact on operations, that should be considered explicitly. Just going through this list of dependencies could be a real eye-opener even at the board level. What are you depending on? Do you know everything that has to be in place for this piece of software to function in production? That includes dev, build, deploy tooling. Then are we paying attention to the security and up-to-dateness of those things we depend on? At the medium maturity level, you will have a list of technologies you are recommending for teams to use. And at a higher maturity level, you will only allow systems to be built based on the approved technologies. So you would have a currently approved list of technologies and perhaps the approval process for adding anything to the list. That means that for legacy projects, you can't indefinitely stay there. You have to have a migration plan in place or you should simply decommission these legacy projects if that's feasible, of course. So level one question for this stream is, are you paying attention to the security quality of the technology you are using? In order to do that, you obviously need to know what technologies you're using or at least the most important ones. Are you paying attention to vulnerability reports of the key technologies you're using? So you need to identify and track technology risks. Finally, you need to make sure that the risk to these technologies are in line with your organizational baseline. Now, at level two, we've got to the point of essentially looking at the security hygiene of different possible technologies. You start with a nice and a naughty list. Here are the things we recommend to use. Here are the things that you should avoid because they are really insecure. You share this list across the organization. You make sure that everybody knows and is aware of this nice and naughty list for the technologies they should, they should and they should not use. Your lead architects and developers review this list and update it at least once a year. But there is not necessarily an enforcement at this maturity level. There could still be teams using something from the naughty list of technologies. That is something where we are trying to fix at level two, the technology recommendation, uh, sorry, at level three, the technology recommendations are enforced. The quality criteria include monitoring things for the applications in scope and solving the violations according to your policies. That should specify what happens to the violations. Finally, you need to take action if the violations fall outside specific KPIs. That brings us to the end of this business function, design. And in the next chapter, we're going to look at implementation business function.